Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a regular hexagon when given the length of one of the side or of the side. So that means if you're having a regular hexagon, a hexagon has six sides. So you're going to be having something like this. So this is just a freehand sketch. And all the sides are going to be equal. So in this video, I'm going to be taking the sides to be five centimeter. Be five centimeter. So irrespective of the length of the side that you are giving, maybe you are giving five or less than five or more, greater than five centimeter. Just know that the step is still the same thing. The step is still the same thing. All right, so before we get into this video proper, uh, if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button below and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. It's absolutely free to subscribe. It won't cost you anything. Uh, please click on it. It helps the channel to grow, but it's absolutely free for you to subscribe. All right, so thank you very much if you have done that. Now, let me know in the comment section. Just comment, I've subscribed, and I'm going to reply you. All right, so thank you. So now, the next, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. So it's looking blur. All right. So I'm going to be drawing a line of five centimeter. So five centimeter. So this is my line of five centimeter, and that now also extend it to the left by five centimeter or more than. So I've got that line sorts that out. So let me call this point point A B. Point A B. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw bring back my compass and draw a, a semicircle with the same radius of 5 cm since we are working with 5 cm so I already have my compass on 5 cm I'll place it on point A note, place it on point A and draw a semicircle so this is the semicircle so what we are going to do next is to divide this semicircle into six equal parts six equal parts and in doing that don't forget this semicircle is 180 degrees so that will be 180 degrees divided by six and that will give us 30 degrees so that means you're going to be having it at 30 degrees interval so i'll bring in my protractor and place it on point a so i'll place it on point a so at every 30 degrees i'm going to note it so this is it 30 plus another 30 that's 60 90 120 and 150 so now i'm going to number it in this order this is going to be one two three four five and then six so just follow along so what i'm going to do is now this point two i'm going to draw a line from point a to pass through point two and touch the semicircle so i'm going to be having something like this So you can see I made it very bold. I made it bold because this line I've just drawn represents one other side of the hexagon that we are drawing. So let me just note it here. This is regular hexagon of uh, five centimeter sides. So this represents one of the sides. So the next thing to do is to bisect these two lines. We are going to bisect these two lines so that we can get the center of this hexagon so in doing that you bring back your compass make sure it's on five centimeter so mine is still on five centimeter so i'm going to back set line a b so i'm going to pick it from point b i'll draw draw an arc up and draw it below from point a draw an arc at the top and draw another arc below so from their point of intersection i'm going to draw a line so i'm going to draw a line like this so let me make it bold so that you can see it. But once you are doing, just make sure you are, you are using faint lines. It's only the side of the poly, of the hexagon that you should make bold. So what I've done to line A, B, I'm going to repeat it with the same line. So I'll bring back my compass, place it on point A. Draw an arc this way. Then on this other side of this... So from their point of intersection, so now where these two lines meet, they are meeting at this point. So I'm going to call that point point O. Point O. So I'll bring back my my compass, place it on point O, adjust it to point A. So if you are working with hexagon, it will still be the same length of the side, which is five centimeter. With that. 
length, I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to draw a circle. So now at this stage, this is what we are going to be having. So now our compass will still be on 5 cm, which is the length of AB. Length of AB. So with that same length, you place your compass on point B and draw an arc on the circle. So from where you have that arc, you place your compass there again. You draw another arc on the circle. So where you have this arc, you place your compass there again and then you draw another arc. So now we are going to draw a line to connect all these points together. So from point B, I'm going to join it like this. Join this to this. Join this to this. And then for the last side, so let me call this is A, B, let me call this point C, D, E, and F. So to verify if our construction is correct, if you pick your ruler and then you measure all the side, you see that you are having it to be 5 cm. So you can see. So you, you see that it's, you have it as 5 cm. So this is how you go about when you are asked to draw a regular hexagon when you are given the length of the side. So irrespective of the side, like I said, either you are working with 5 cm or less than or more than, once you follow this step, you are going to have the desired results. So if you want to know how to draw other regular polygons when given the length of the side, just check the description of this video. I will leave a link to other regular polygon like pentagon, hexagon and the likes when given the length of the side. So that will also guide you. And if you have any question or any comment concerning this video, please leave them in the comment section below. Or you have a video request, leave them in the comment section below. Also check out our playlist on technical and engineering drawing. There are a lot of videos that I believe will be of help to you. And also check our website, paacademy.co, paacademy.co. And with that, guys, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you very much.